Happening tomorrow, the Heritage Alliance is kicking off the summer season with a history happy hour. Joe Spiker is here with me today to tell me a little bit more about the upcoming event. Joe, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Well, first off, tell us where this is and what the topic is. Uh, so we are at the Chester Inn Museum in Jonesboro. Um, th this topic is going to be really fun. It is, uh, it'll tickle your innards, uh, regional history of Mountain Dew. Uh, so we bring guest speakers in, uh, and this is Reese Brenner from the Reese Museum. I'm sorry, Spencer Brenner from the Reese Museum uh, talking about um, Mountain Dew history, its ties to the area, and kind of how it all got started. And let's kind of touch base on that about why you wanted to go with this topic. Uh, well, the good thing about our program is we reach out to speakers from different places and they kind of come to us with topics that they're interested in. And the Reese Museum has a very great collection of Mountain Dew artifacts and items. And they've done a lot of really good history research on the relevance of Mountain Dew to the area. So he's bringing that info with him uh, and he's gonna share it with our audience. What a cool topic mm -hmm. to have. And let's also talk about, you know, why it's so important to have these discussions about all the history, especially there in Tennessee's oldest town. Yes, so it's really fun because it's popular. Um, it's the third or fourth most popular soda brand in the world uh, and its origins are right here in East Tennessee between Knoxville and the Tri-Cities. Um, so it's really cool to learn about that and then it's also really cool to learn about how the the soda got started with like really kind of damaging ties to Appalachian hillbilly stereotypes. Uh, that's where the name comes from. A lot of the early advertisements were really geared towards highlighting like hillbillies and, and mountain people and things like that. So well, I have to ask, will there be Mountain Dew there? Uh, we are going to try to have some, some Mountain Dew there for people to, to enjoy as refreshments. Yes, you absolutely have to have that if that's the topic. We, we would have to, yes. And I know that um, this is free to, and open to everyone, right? Yes, so it's at 630. It lasts about an hour. Um, there's time for questions and answers after. Uh, we normally have refreshments and we will try to have some Mountain Dew. Um, but yeah, it's free. Um, you can show up at the Chester Inn. We're normally there by 6, setting up. So anytime between 6 and 6.30, you can come, grab a seat, grab a refreshment, and kind of settle in. And it's nice that this is free and open to other people. But, you know, if, if you can't make it tomorrow, there are some other ones coming, right? Yes. So we normally do this the third Thursday each month between March and April through September and October. Um, next month, we have the birthplace of country music. Um, so we, we try to bring a, a lot of really cool speakers in from different places. So. Well, it sounds like a great opportunity to learn a little bit more about our region and of course, you know, understand the history of Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and is there anything else you want folks to know about the history at Happy Hour coming up? Um, come out, um, it's always a lot of fun. And uh, if you like Mountain Dew, but don't know much about the history and its ties to the region, this is a great place to uh, kind of get introduced to that. Sounds like you can come away with some cool facts after tomorrow. Most definitely. Yeah, I always love having those cool facts, especially learning about our history right here at home. Yeah, um, and the fact that something that's so internationally known at this point has its ties right here to Johnson City. So. How cool. Well, thank you so much for joining yes, us on First at Four us. and those details one more time. The History Happy Hour, that's tomorrow at the Chester Inn State Historic Site and Museum in Tennessee's oldest town there in Jonesboro. Kicks off at 6.30 p.m. That program is free and open to everyone.